Sonia, what the hell are you doing? Well, what else am I going to do during Corona? Okay, I think we need to have a talk about it. Oh, and before we start, guys, take a second and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell thingy, you know, so you get notified when we upload a new LARP video. All right, so now let's get into the topic. All right, Sonia, you ask people on Facebook what they do in the time when we can't LARP due to the coronavirus, because yeah. let's be honest, in most countries, LARP in 2020 won't happen at all. No. Nope. So what can we do? It's super sad, but I asked you guys and uh, the answers were plentiful. Most people actually said that they are preparing one way or the other for their next offline event. So crafting was a big thing. That's why we actually also started the crafting tutorials on Facebook. I think every Saturday or Sunday we upload a nice step-by-step -step tutorial on cool things you can craft at home. But you guys were also researching for your characters, you were fight training, so basically just preparing for the next time we can hopefully LARP again. All right, yeah, I started crafting too a little bit in the downtime and I also started a little bit with decorating my home because I have so yeah. much crafted stuff lying around. Actually, that was something that a few of you guys at home were doing as well. You guys sent us beautiful pictures from your decorated balconies and you were even putting up tents in your garden, etc. Basically, you just wanted to incorporate the atmosphere of LARP into your home. People can also do actually what we do and mm -hmm. do videos about LARPing. Yes. And they do a lot. Um, one of our befriended LARP groups, the Equinox, made their version of the Pass the Brush Challenge. I think we can just show a little bit of that right here. And it was super cool. It basically inspired a lot of people to do another version of that. And it just, you know, like, it, it, it was like an online challenge for all the LARPers and everybody joined in. And another cool thing of a LARP video challenge was um, that group we made in Germany just now. I actually did my own video in there too. It was super fun. It, the Facebook group is called Epic LARP Battle of History. And it mostly has German LARPers from the like realm of Conquest of Mythodea in it. And it was <laughs> like a rap battle uh, video challenge where people filmed themselves as their LARP characters. And then they made like a diss track on another LARP character. And then that LARP character returned that diss and I totally got my fair share of that too. By the way, here, this is a video of Tom and he was bashing me and he did a really good job. And then there is also something I've heard about, some form of online LARP. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I actually had a lot of research done on that because there's plenty of examples of what you can do. Uh, a term that I heard was Laog, live action online game. Shouldn't it be like more like ORB, online role playing game? I have no idea, but that's apparently what it's called. Um, and there are many different versions of live action online games. For example, what I've seen people do on TikTok is that they do a pickup version of role play. So one person starts and they film themselves as, let's say, the, de the detective that comes to a murder scene and he's like, oh my God, something has happened here. And then the next person picks it up from there and does a TikTok operation and says, you're right, Sherlock something is just not right and then the third person picks up what they said and and, and like continues the role play so that's a really cool version of live action online gaming <laughs> and then uh, i asked you guys and you said that you were doing pen and paper role play but instead of a random character you guys use your actual larp character on platforms like discord and stuff and then you would do just your normal like Dungeons and Dragons or a tabletop game, but with your LARP characters. And then somebody sent me a, a third example of online LARPing, and that's super crazy. It's basically 
a if augmented reality games ARGs and LARP had a baby <laughs> and out comes an event like Animus um, and it's basically an online scavenger hunt where you as your character actually sit at home like that's part of the game and you start your adventure through your laptop through the internet you for example get an email a mysterious email that sends you to a homepage that gives you a link to a Discord channel and so on and so on. You basically have an actual online uh, LARP. And uh, yeah, when I asked you guys, you also said, yeah, I'm totally meeting up with my LARP group online on Discord and we're just LARPing there. For example, we pretend like in the video call on Zoom, we pretend that we are sitting in a spaceship and we only have one hour left of oxygen and now we're phoning home and this Zoom call is actually the way we communicate. And then the last example of live action roleplay done in an online setting is when you mix LARP with video games. One of you guys wrote me and said that they had completely built a setting or were going to build a setting of a LARP event in Minecraft. Like, you know, you can like build your, your little like sceneries there and then your character can, characters can role play there. And actually my own friends have totally role played in World of Warcraft and in their guild, you know, like through uh, team speak and stuff, they're just like role playing as their character. So if I can't do it online because I don't have the time or the means to reasons. do it. Reasons. Reasons. <laughs> What can I? What else can I do to incorporate LARP into my life uh, during downtime? Well, another cool example is to just use your good old-fashioned posting system and write a beautiful letter that you like calligraph and that you paint on, and that your character basically writes to another character. And um, this is a cool example that we got sent by from Maître Malo on Facebook. And it, it's just a nice thing, you know, not only finally between all those bills and invoices, you also get a cool looking letter, but also you can use it as a prop for your next LARP event, for your next offline LARP event, where you take this letter and you go to that other LARP and you're like, remember you wrote me this, you like, you can start a conversation there. So that's a really cool version that you guys can do during Corona or other lockdowns or even outside of when this is finally over. <laughs> Tell me, what did you do during lockdown? And did you still incorporate LARP into your daily life? Or did you not do it at all? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want to support us, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. It means the world to us that we unite live action role players from all around the world and to have you on board. So thank you so much and have an epic week. Bye.